Hello, Denis Hotia Thema Ushie. My name is Thema, which means Mother of Rocks in Taltan language. I am an interdisciplinary artist that specializes in contemporary conceptual artwork. Uh, so that means that the idea fuels the medium, and I'm classically trained as a carver in Northwest Coast First Nations design, um, and have also been uh, to art university uh, too. In fact, I have my master's degree as well in um, inter interdisciplinary art, media, and design. And my current focus is on connecting materials to mind sites and bodies to the land. So I started making artwork uh, coming back from a trip to New Zealand where I was very inspired by uh, Maori culture and wanted to learn more about my own First Nations heritage. So I went to Native Art School and the school that I found called Gitimek School for Northwest Coast uh, Native Art is in Hazleton, BC, which is very close to where I grew up, near Smithers. So the artwork that has been submitted to the Hamilton Library, it's showing uh, a work called The Wind Has Something to Say. And it's now a series, so there's several years that um, I've been doing this collaborative artwork. Um, I did initiate the work, but I'm doing it with several other uh, groups of, of youth and young people who are traveling out on our land for the Tene Mahodihi Adventure uh, Land-Based Education Program. Every summer, a group of students go out on the land, uh, led by professionals, including artists and scientists, engineers, and we impart on them a kind of land-based education, also experience-based education. This is one of the artworks that I led with the students now for the last two years. It's with uh, very lightweight material. The wind has really picked it up, um, made a sculpture of its own, and it's it's become a really good performance piece that the students, um, I think, make, uh, make really extraordinary art with. I was working at several different operations, uh, mining and exploration camps, as an environmental field assistant. So what I did is collected samples and was very inspired uh, to make art about my experience working in the mines. Um, I was not the only First Nations person to, uh, to be working there. And so I thought that this was a really interesting dynamic and also recognized that I had this push-pull relationship with industry that I knew that I supported uh, that it supported me uh, through getting me through school, but I also disagreed with the mining practices uh, and also a kind of corporate colonial mindset that is mostly taking from the land and I am not seeing the ways that it's giving back. I think because it's such a complicated issue that our work really lends itself uh, especially artwork using found materials to be able to speak when uh, conversations are really hard. Thank you everybody for listening to me and I hope that people are taking care and being safe at this time.